the reason why recovery is so important is because that's when your body adapts. So if you train, um, you're putting a stress on your body. Um, so you're actually breaking the body down. So at that time, like you'll feel at the end of that session, whether it be a hard weight session or the end of a conditioning session, you're quite fatigued. So your body is actually immediately worse off in that current time because it's recovering. When it rare it gets better is when you're sleeping at night um, and when you're you're uh, taking it easy. So rest is incredibly important part of uh, ingredient for um, getting better over time. Um, and if you're not resting enough, you will see more injuries or you'll just see a um, plateau in your results. So sometimes um, it's not about doing more, but it's actually allowing your body to, to recover. Rest will also allow for higher quality training. And you may have found that in your own experience. If you rest well, you'll, you'll um, have higher quality um, and you'll be, your body will be able to um, run at more uh, intense speeds, as well as you'll have a better ability to jump and, and accelerate. Um, so feeling fresh is, is what we want every game. Um, and this is an example of three different athletes following the same program over a 12 week period. So like a pre-season period and you've got three different results. So to, you've got the red, um, which is someone that's um, not recovered enough and they've worked themselves into the ground and they've got the worst result. You've got the green, which is someone who doesn't push very hard. So they sort of coast and take it easy. Don't get uncomfortable, uh, but they got still some progress because they were consistent with their training. And then you've got the optimal, which is the blue, where they're training hard, um, not quite as hard as the red and dipping themselves too far, um, but they're pushing themselves a lot further than the green uh, and they're allowing their body to recover. So they're in the sweet spot of performance, allowing their body to recover, but also training with intensity at the right time. So that's where we wanna try and work towards um, during your athlete development. To get a better understanding of fatigue, you have two different types of fatigue that your body typically goes through with football loads. That's your central nervous system fatigue. So that's when like the next morning after a game, you'll feel like you've been hit by a bus. Uh, it's really hard to get out of bed and your whole body is just really tired and you're low in energy. Um, so that's your nervous system. Your nervous system actually takes a lot longer to recover than your muscles. It can take up to five times um, your body to recover. So that's why it can be really hard to re repeat uh, high intensity training uh, earlier in the week, typically after coming from a game. Uh, your central nervous system controls most functions on the body. So it's incredibly important for your daily life, as well as your ability to um, play at your best. The other side, which is the easier way to measure, is your muscle soreness. Um, so your, your ability for your muscles to recover. Um, this would be particularly noticeable with uh, your lower body after a game, um, where your calves, hamstrings, quads and adductors will, might feel quite tight and, and tired. Um, and they usually, your muscles will respond really well to eating high quality food. So trying to get a lot of color out of your food with vegetables, uh, protein uh, and good carbohydrates.